being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why sir, don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm going to do you hit me. Okay? Sir, okay now you now take my picture, me. Me. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. They're criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please. Dude, please. Oh, my God. Don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you Ma'am, stand right here. Ma'am. Oh, man. Ma'am. 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 You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously. Please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Louisville, Kentucky, where we find the Long Island Frauditor interjecting himself into something that's none of his business. Well, what's new? Sit back, watch, and enjoy! All right, guys, so some activity over here, some police activity. I was at Walmart grabbing some stuff here in Louisville, Kentucky. We got one, two, three police cars. Let's see what this is all about. I know what I'm asking is a rhetorical question, but why would you put yourself in harm's way at night with three police cars? Something bad must be going on, and you want to put yourself in the middle of it. Only a member of the press would do that. What are you doing? Stand back over there if you want to record this what situation. Are you, what are you doing? No, I mean, stand back over there. You're not going to have, and, and, and put yourself in a situation. We just got to calm down. I'm not, I'm not putting myself in any situation. Stand over there. Sir, I'm going to ask you to relax. I'm going to back okay, up. I understand. That's it. But stand over there. We just got this situation. You're standing in the middle of the parking lot right now. You gotta calm down. There was a call of a man with a gun. And you can understand why the police are upset. They don't want anybody intruding upon the investigation. But Sean thinks he has a right to do whatever he wants with his potato camp. Yeah, you know what? I'm surprised he hasn't been hurt seriously so far. He's been put out of a few buildings, and he alleged that he had his ankle broken, but that was found not to be true. But yeah, he's uh, he's headed for calamity. I hope the poor lad doesn't get hurt too badly. Man, you see how aggressive they get? You see that, right? Because I'm involving myself in a situation by exercising my First Amendment right. You see that? Crazy. Absolutely insane. What these clowns and all the other clowns that can claim to be First Amendment free press frauditors, whatever they call themselves, they don't understand this is about officer safety. 
This is about officer safety and the safety of the community. When someone's reported to have a gun, everybody's in danger. They're only looking out for you and the rest of the people there. You are an idiot, John. Is this an active crime scene? Yes, it's an active investigation, so you need to stay back and not look the, I don't see any tape. Right, we don't put tape on for every investigation. Okay. I'm a good distance away. I'm not getting involved. I'm a good distance away. I'm not getting involved. Okay. You're involving me more than anything. You got to check your ego, man. De-escalation works wonders. And this idiot does this all in the name of First Amendment freedom and freedom of the press. Whoa, you know what? I wonder what's going to happen one day if he catches some hot lead at one of these crime scenes. Uh, who would be liable for that? Would he try to blame that on the police because they didn't properly protect him? He probably would, no doubt about it. So, you know, this is the problem with law enforcement. The problem is they don't want to be held accountable. They hate cameras. You guys know I don't do too much cop watching. But uh, I'm out here in Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. Just grabbing some supplies from Walmart before I head to my hotel for the night. Saw this activity, decided to uh, stop by and see what was going on. Yeah, Sean was on the way back to the hotel and he saw what was going on. He said, yeah, you know what? I could use a few more clicks and views on my channel. Let me go ahead and record these cops and see what I can do with it. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you don't watch cops because you would have been put in a pokey a long time ago with that mouth you have. He had a really smart mouth, doesn't he? trying to go to my car oh, okay. you want to take a step back i thought i thought you were trying to intimidate you like intimidate me like you did no, before <laughs> I just, no i just told you to step out of our investigation have a good night you too this is a perfect example of law enforcement hate cameras back out of our investigation he was telling me to go all the way over here on that side of the parking lot no crime scene no investigation these guys just don't get it perhaps one day if they get injured oh then they'll want to sue the city and they won't be able to front it anymore i hope that never happens but man you're on a fast track to that if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. Sue me. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, you you're racist. Racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You'll go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just assaulted me, ma'am. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. 